Hey, what's up guys? It's Marf, and I bet you didn't expect this. Yup, it's Bullet Force in the year 2024. I wasn't expecting to come back to this game and give it another shot, but I figured, why not? It just sort of popped into my head, and someone on Discord reminded me again of it, and I was like, you know what, maybe it's time. Uh, while we're waiting for some of the other updates for some other games, and me and this dude are whiffing our entire Glock magazines. So that was awesome, and that could have been a two for one. That was so close. I won't even get the assist counts as kill, but yeah, I remember this map, Prison. It was one of the first maps in the game, and then I think they redid it a while uh, after. I, I don't think I even saw that guy. I was just spraying and praying. I mean, granted, that's most of my kills in this game, and that's a dude behind me. So there's no way I'm going to win because I literally have not touched this game in years. But I wanted to go back and have some fun. And honestly, there really is something charming about just simplistic gameplay like this, even though I clearly suck at it. But I don't know. It's just fun to click play and just play. And that's something I kind of missed. That was an awesome two for one. I think I got the assist and then another one. Gosh, that FAMAS is so quick. There's a dude behind me. He's on low health. I need that kill. Oh my gosh, no, the Compact 45 is so annoying. Okay, so I believe this is the starter pistol. There we go. Okay, so I'm off that onto a sniper in close range. That, what? Wait, what? Please? For the love, oh my god. I'm so bad. Can I get a no scope somewhere? Is that gonna work? Nope. Okay. Okay, so clearly my sniping is a little more rusty than I would like to admit, but that was actually not a bad flick there. And now we're on the Mind B9, which is completely useless from 20 feet away. I'll take that. High ping over a thousand milliseconds, and that's what happens when you have a thousand millisecond ping. Yeah, the server situation for this game was never known to be the best thing, and oh my gosh, I keep forgetting there's a rocket in this game, and hello sir, you're right next to me. That was a like a clown skin or something. Okay, we're on a bit of a streak here. I got the automatic bolt action. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Okay, we're on a pretty good streak. All I can say is let's go, like every Call of Duty YouTuber ever, but that's okay. Okay, we'll take that kill. Tommy Gun, we'll take that kill. Scar, we'll take that. Now we're on the M40A5, is this? Oh, I missed, I'm missing, I'm missing. There's a guy behind me as well. That was an insane quick scope. Please get this kill, okay? Oh my gosh, I was actually not expecting this. There's no way that I'm doing this well. Okay, there's gotta be people on my flank, right? Yep, this guy. Oh, that was so close. That was such a sick streak. Okay, so I did play a warm-up game before this, like I said, and I was doing really bad just like that. Oh, this is the handgun. This is like the quirky thingy. That was not some good commentary. You can see that I'm, and hear that I'm really rusty at this. Why is he running away? Oh, he must have run out of ammo. I forgot you can't activate two at once. That's okay. We saved it. And there's another guy behind me in two places. But yeah, as I was saying, you can tell that I'm pretty rusty at talking and playing a first person shooter at the same time. Granted, it's even been a while since I've done like a live commentary Asphalt 9 video, let alone a live commentary shooter video. So that's definitely a trip down memory lane. This guy's going up to the second floor. We both know where he's at. I thought he like turned around to look at me. That was insane aim skills. Oh my gosh. But honestly, I wasn't expecting to have this much fun coming back, especially considering just like how crazy gaming has been on mobile in the last couple of years. And I remember this Lewis gun. I think they said they buffed it recently. And that was another thing. I was surprised to see that this game is still getting updates. Okay, so we got the assist counts as kill, which is nice because this next weapon can be a, definitely a hit or miss. I mean, literally. Okay, there's some people lining up here. I just need to wait for the right timing. That was not good. I was too far to the left of him. That guy already died. Give me that UAV. He's behind me. That went through his legs, I swear to gosh. All right, let's get back into the action here. There's this guy running around. There's also that guy running around, and that's just more hit markers. So one of the interesting things is you may see that my HUD is like all smushed together and that's because I only remember playing this game on my iPhone 8. Oh no, I don't want to, I want to rocket launch, I don't want to actually knife someone, oh gosh. But anyway, as I was saying for the millionth time, uh, I was playing this on an iPhone 8, 8, which of course had those huge bezels. This guy must kill me, right? Okay, well, you know what? Now we're on to the MG, easy. Oh, I remember the 870. Hey, whoa. That guy got in my personal space. And I got the assist counts as kill with that sniper. I don't know how, but that's great because sniping indoors is 
always really frustrating, but this is the Vector. Again, another super fast firing gun. That guy so hits. The reload for this gun is so sick. I'll just panic knife that guy. That's totally fine. Okay, I have no idea how I'm leading. I'll just do another panic knife like that. That totally works. Man, I love these insane, like, close quarter action things. And that guy didn't appear on the UAV. He must have a perk or something. And that's another interesting thing that I remember about this gun game is in a lot of other first-person shooters in gun game or free-for-all, sometimes none of the perks from your character or from your loadout will apply. And just ignore me missing all those shots. Just, that didn't happen. That, that didn't, that didn't happen. Okay, while I was missing all my shots, I didn't realize that there were a couple people catching up and I missed, please, please, okay i was gonna say if i missed all those i would have just stopped the video right there see it's the sniping that really gets me because i'm just so darn rusty and also i know that a lot of people play with like a claw grip or stuff like that especially when PUBG started coming out everyone is playing with different control schemes meanwhile i just stick to my two thumbs because that's just what i know best and that's what i've been doing for all of these years Hello, another panic knife. That works. We're on a kill streak. Man, it's really funny when I stop in the middle of saying something because there's no way I'm going to edit that video. That makes sense. Oh, was that like a wall bang or something? I don't care. I still got the shot off and this is the one shot pump action. It's not pump action, actually. It's like a grenade launcher, but it has a shotgun pellet in it. So it means I need to hit my shot or else I have to reload like that, which is annoying, but it has insane range now that I remember that. Oh, this is the Tech 9. This is what I call this the Deagle replacement. That was easy. There's the M1911. Oh, this is a challenging gun. Sick reload, though. And I just got reset. Are you kidding me? All right, yep. Back to the M320. That's what it was called. Okay, I'm just going to wait for this guy to go on my cross here. He's not going to do that, so I'm going to approach him. Go back to the Tech 9. I have to try and manage two people at once, but that works, I guess. Then I first guy the kill. Get that second guy as well. And that guy just spawned right in the same place. Ooh, I love that Deagle. This is one of the best and most fun weapons in this game, especially as a secondary. You can spray and pray like that, but that guy stole my kill. Okay, so I realized that there's just less than three and a half minutes left in this match, and I'm actually in the lead, surprisingly. So I'm actually going to see if I can try hard my way through this. Assist counts as kill. I'll take that. Oh, onto some challenging pistols. This is the M412 Rex, I think. Oh, no, this is actually the 44 Magnum. So it's a two-shot kill and slow rate of fire, and I just missed all of my shots on that guy. That's been a common theme throughout this video. Okay, I got the assist counts as kill. I'm on the butterfly knife. Do I have to get two kills with this thing? Okay, this is going to be really tough, especially considering I used my counter UAV. I just have to go behind people. I remember you could sprint and stab at the same time. No. Oh my gosh, please, I'm running through people. That's not how you do it. Oh gosh, I'm missing all these shots. Please, that guy just got yeeted into the locker. Oh my god. Okay, this is actually getting pretty nerve-wracking because those people are clearly catching up to me, which is, again, kind of nervous for me. But I just got to run around in these close quarters. Okay, that guy just died. Yes, I got that guy. Okay, there's only one kill left. I have to do this. There's no way. I have two minutes to get one kill. If I don't get this, I swear I'm going to be so upset. Okay, yeah, don't look. Don't look. Yes, I got it. I cannot believe I just won a game of Bullet Force gun game in the year 2024. That was completely unexpected. And look, I even got the cool content creator skin. But anyway, guys, that was super, super fun. Let me know if you guys want to see any more Bullet Force videos in the comment section down below. And I will catch you guys later.